Hi, this is Evgeny Shvara from Intersystems Corporation and Intersystems Developer Community. Um, today I want to tell you about uh, one handy utility that you can find on Intersystems Open Exchange. Then that will help you to deal uh, with the control version uh, procedures when you work with Intersystems Interoperability solutions. So, um, uh, the utility is called git, uh, git for shared environment developments, but actually it's uh, written by Timothy Leavitt, uh, but in fact it works pretty well for a Docker environment uh, to solve uh, the questions related to interoperability solutions and control version of, of that. Okay, let's see how it works. And uh, yeah, so let's start a new interoperability solution and here how to, one of the most handy way to do that is to find uh, interoperability template we provide like Iris interoperability let's click on github let's use this template create a new repository so it's called uh, um, interoperability source control demo okay so it will be private just because it's for demo purposes so let's clone it into my personal uh, GitHub uh, repository. Uh, copy the line and let's start development of that in uh, VS Code. I open a new window, uh, clone this, clone it in a special folder inside some GitHub repository. GitHub directory, I have a local laptop. Okay, uh, so it's here and let's run it. And while it's being built, uh, let's see what is here. Uh, here we have some classes uh, that perform uh, interoperability solution that in fact loads um, content from reddit and uh, performs a business role to uh, to filter some reddit posts from another i think it filters cats and dogs as far as i remember um okay uh, so container didn't uh, wasn't able to deploy because there is some issue with uh, connectivity that port is taken so let's just take another port like this one and rebuild it again Yes, it looks like that now it's rebuilt, uh, so we need a connection and let's open production. Yes, um, and uh, uh, what I can you, oh, what I want to highlight here is that uh, on the line seven we, seven we have a ZPM install git source control line which actually adds the functionality that will take care of all the source control uh, tasks that we need uh, from while building interoperability solutions. In fact, what we need from interoperability here? Uh, first of all, of course, everything that we added here is being controlled so because this is a git git repository so for example if we add 
I don't know. So, so some comment um, like here. Uh, here is uh, operation class. If so, if we save it, yes, uh, we see that change goes into email operation class and we see this change right so everything we change uh, in this code is being immediately control version but what about the elements that we added via ui in uh, in iris so for example here we see this production and uh, if we do some changes here uh, we in fact, we, ch we do changes in a class and we expect this change to be source control. And what, uh, what this git source control adds that every changes uh, performed in uh, production in, uh, in the UI for related to interoperability components, components is being source control for example let's add a comment here in this process uh, uh, like that and let's apply that yes so settings applied so let's see that yes we have a production change and in an item filter posts and we see that this is a comment to demo source control. Uh, great, right? Yes. So I think this is really this is what we expect. Same for rules. For example, if you open uh, the business rule, yes, and um, and if we make some changes. Yes, and save it and check with uh, source control great uh, so we see this change so this change immediately introduced um, and yes uh, so may you may ask me how this all works the necessary the necessary requirement to make this happen and uh, just to make or introduce all this magic of source control with UI elements for interoperability in your application depends on uh, module XML also so that when we uh, if you notice a script that has been run when uh, we built uh, the Docker image, uh, insta uh, besides installing the source control, um, yes, and uh, so we also we also lower this all this code as ZPM model. And uh, if we notice what is listed in ZPM model, we say, okay, here is uh, these classes. Uh, DC Radiant package and DC demo package, and uh, uh, this utility, Git Source Control, it examines, it examines module XML, and uh, if classes uh, that are listed here, for example, production classes or business roles are in module XML, they automatically uh, became become included into Source Control by um, by git, git source control and another th question you may ask how uh, git source control understands where the source code is situated again it gets this uh, information from a module xml where we see this src line that means that source root that this is a source root after the 
in the folder where module XML is situated. So this is how it works. And uh, so I encourage you to follow, I mean, so if you follow the approach that your project is uh, uh, IPM module first, first, so you describe your project as a module XML and you load it uh, initially um, in a Docker image, you get automatically source control for your interoperability production and, and production elements. So that's it. Uh, so uh, I encourage you to uh, use this uh, uh, development utility uh, written by Timothy Levitt. And uh, also please uh, add contributions to his project and uh, provide feedback, write uh, reviews here the releases are quite often so it's production is uh, this application is being used um, and being developed continuously and supported by timothy so thanks uh, thanks timothy a lot and uh, i hope this will increase uh, your productivity with uh, developing applications with intersystems iris and developing especially interoperability solutions. So, thanks for your attention, stay tuned. See you in the InterSystems Developer Community.